Well, the plane is here to stay. That's happening. That's not going nowhere. Yeah. You know what I mean? I love the play in. Mm-hmm. I felt like it, it brought so much intensity to the end of the season mm-hmm. game. It's ten teams that can get into it. Like that can right. that can fight for a playoff position, not just eight. So I feel mm-hmm. like the playing the playing the players weren't liking it. Like you I remember when LeBron yeah. was upset about it. And mm-hmm. you know what I mean? But I felt like as a fan, I love it, man. I love right. like I remember the first year the first year when Russ was on the Wizards, I think mm-hmm. they had made they made it exciting. You know what I mean? Like LaMelo Ball yeah. when he was a rookie, they made it exciting. You know what I mean? You have yeah. so the young players, the young stars are getting a, a, a getting chances to even to have that kind of bright lights and be on that type of stage that will help them further on in their career. What do you think, Chris? I mean, so for me, I I. I'm on both sides of the fence because I feel like from a player standpoint, pick a side. Pick I would, a side. I would, I would, I would, I would hate it. Hold on, hold on, hear me out, hear me out. From a player standpoint, I would mm-hmm. hate it only because I feel like I'm going through my whole 82 game season, right, with all of the ups and downs, right, to get the spot mm-hmm. that I'm in, to then have to after the season fight for that spot again. You know what I'm saying? So. For me, the only way I would see the playoff tour- playing tournament working for players, right? It would have to be. I feel like you would have to make it. You would have to cut out some of the regular season games mm-hmm. and make that those last couple of games. So whichever teams finish from one to six would have a shorter season, right? They would they would play seventy, what maybe seventy six games. Whoever something like that. Whoever so, has what. Whoever is the top six seeds, yeah, they have a shorter season. Right, they would, they, right? They would have a shorter season. Yeah, they got an and extra those week to rest. Are, right, and the, the and the which is the same thing as the regular season. You play eighty two, mm-hmm. yeah. but I just feel like if, if players continually like play eighty two games, why? If every season has been eighty two games, right? Why mm-hmm. now all of a sudden after those eighty two games do I still have to fight for my spot in the playoffs if I've earned that spot through my eighty two game series? So I feel right. like you should shorten the season a little bit, and then those teams at the bottom give that the opportunity to to round out those eighty two games yeah. in the playing tournament. Yeah, if you win, right. you just those games. That's right. true. So, I mean, so I f- which, which which will give you the which I feel will give the fair advantage because you sit there and you you get the A spot. Now you still got to worry about a ninth and a tenth seed trying to take your A spot after your eighty two games. That does just that just doesn't make any sense to me. It is sense. As a as a fan, I love basketball, so I will watch it. <laughs> I, I think it. I think it, it. It prevents tanking. It prevents like boring games at the end of the year. Games that don't matter. Every game matters now. Like I think that's why it's good. That that is something that the the NFL does well. Right? They have seventeen seasons. I mean, seventeen weeks. Every game matters. When you're watching college. Every game mm-hmm. matters. The NBA, every game don't matter if you don't have the playing game. You know what I mean? Like, the, mm-hmm. the for example, you have a team, the Pelicans. Right. The Pelicans made it to the playoffs. That's mm-hmm. exciting. And they were what a ninth seed, a tenth seed. They made it to the playoffs. They started the they yeah. they first twenty games was awful. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? Like, what you think? Am, am I tripping, Henny, or what? Am I tripping? No, nah, I mean, look, I, I I take it from a different perspective. Yeah. Both from both both of you guys' perspective. Like, as as a fan, I, I love watching it. I love I love a underdog. I love an underdog story. Right. Like I love to see. Like one day, there's going to be a temp seed who wins the NBA playoffs. Just <laughs> one day, it, it's going to be <laughs> it's going to be a team who just riddled with riddled with injuries. Who who lost their coach, mm-hmm. got a new coach in the middle of the season, uh, added a few, at, made a trade. They they're the eleventh seed, be way better. Should be a one seed if that team stay, if that team was there from the beginning, mm-hmm. and end up being the tenth seed. Be win those two. Win, they have to win two games, right? Yeah, win those two yeah. games as a ten as a ten seed, uh-huh. and then win the NBA championship. And I just want to see it. At least as, get to as, the as a, play. I just, At least get to the final. I want to see it. At least get to the finals. <laughs> nah, I want to see them win. That's going to be a lovely story. I want to see them take the whole thing. As a temp seed, they won the NBA championship. 